One of the things that I've been fascinated with um, for as long as I've been in California is this idea of making images that could only be made by a camera. And something that's interesting about photography is that the material has always been kind of calibrated to the way that we see the world. So I like this idea of going to an iconic place like the Pacific Ocean, but then photographing it in a way where that, um, that kind of like register between camera vision and human vision starts to like break apart a little bit. I'm interested in making a picture of something that is immediately recognizable and definable, where your brain kind of knows exactly where to categorize that or where to file that. Um, but the picture itself is, you know, there's like a glitch. It doesn't quite compute. So it's like you know how you're supposed to approach it and you know how you're supposed to relate to it and what reference points you might have from, you know, art history, television, whatever. Um, but there, there's something about the way that the image is recorded that feels kind of impossible or uncanny. Um, so thinking about that kind of recognition and that defiance of kind of like rational description, the, the series of Vs in the title, um, that V is just kind of a simple like waveform, you know, like a first grader would draw. Um, and the way that I have it structured, um, I didn't want this to be about place, like where they were actually made. Um, I really wanted it to be just this kind of meditation or study. And, you know, I'm usually somebody that's really kind of clear about my titles um, and use them in a really kind of like descriptive, straightforward way. And these images defy like logic or rational description. So my idea was to, the first image is just a single V and then as the series progresses through the installation or through the book format, it accumulates another V as it goes through. So it becomes this kind of like sequence or series or progression of waves that mimics what it's like for me to be there making them, um, kind of just standing by the ocean, watching it come in and kind of documenting it. Moving to San Diego, um, and commuting north to teach or, um, you know, to visit people in Los Angeles, friends, family, uh, whatever. There's a long stretch of that drive where you're right alongside the ocean. And so, you know, seeing that intense reflection um, stuck with me, you know, and in the same way that I, I can remember specifically driving to move to Los Angeles uh, from the East Coast and seeing broken glass out on the side of the road and thinking like that could be a photograph. And so that was sort of like the, the seed of those broken glass photographs that I'm still um, kind of collecting. Ideally, if these pictures are doing what I hope that they're doing, they feel recognizable, but in that kind of uncanny way. Um, and I also, what I like about the sort of way that the sunlight is rendered in this like black tone is that it references the after image when you look at something really bright. So it becomes kind of preloaded with this like experience or memory of having been to that place, even though you may never have been there. It's just like another way to riff on that relationship that photographs have with being in a particular place in a particular time. So to find a way to kind of package that and deliver it um, is something that I thought was really cool and exciting.